Hey guys, how you going? My name is Dom and today I'd like to demonstrate how to use the Fetch API to send through or post JSON data. It's actually pretty easy. So inside my text editor, I have here this index.html file and I've also got a receive.php file. So we're going to be sending through the JSON to this file right here. And you can use whatever server side language you like, such as Node or Python, but I'm using PHP for demonstration uh, purposes. Okay, so I'm also actually getting the JSON and then converting it to a PHP array and then simply dumping the array of the data to um, the response. Okay, so inside this index file, let's go ahead and actually make the fetch request. But first, we need some data to convert to JSON. So let's make a new constant I'm going to call this one person equal to an object. Okay, so we're going to send through, let's just say name as being Dominic and the age as being 57. Okay, cool. So let's send this through as JSON. All right, so down here, I'm going to make a new fetch request. I'm going to pass in here as the URL receive.php. So that file right there. Okay. As the second argument to this function, we're going to pass through a bunch of options. We're going to say the method is going to be a post request, okay? And the body or the actual data to send through is going to be this right here um, as JSON. So we're going to use the JSON.stringify method to convert the person to JSON. All right, cool. When the response comes back, we're going to um, interpret it as text. So we're going to say return response.text. Once that has been converted, we're going to um, just simply print out the text to the console. So we can say console.log text. Okay. And if anything goes wrong, we're going to simply just print out the error as per usual. So console.error and pass through error right there. Okay, so the main part of this whole thing is passing through um, the body as being JSON. I did forget though, we also have to specify the content type. Okay, so we're going to tell the server this will be um, some JSON. Okay, so we're going to say headers, okay, and pass through here content type of application slash JSON. Okay, so now I can save this and then refresh my browser and we see here in the console we get the PHP output. Okay, so it worked all fine. Inside the network tab um, on, the on the actual request we can see here that um, the request headers has sent this through as content type application slash JSON. Okay, and as the request body or the request payload, we have um, the object. Inside the view source, we can see the actual JSON string right there. And that is how you can send JSON using the Fetch API. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.